Brian Connolly's dog accept a bung? Was Aniston caught eating Gary's fine pink mints like what you get in the giant sausage rolls and some pasties? Chandler develops skirt but cannot trace the crow responsible. Joey's got a fair idea, but inadvertently harbors a dangerous chaffinch. Can it? Yes! It's rotten! You try and pass off rotten melons after all I've done for you? Whoops, I'm on. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Barry Gossy. You're watching Channel 4. That's probably why you feel dirty and ashamed. <laughs> but now, please welcome the Ford Cortina of comedy, Harry Hill! I tell you me. This is your life. <laughs> this is your life. This is the life. This is your life. This is your sea. This is your sea. This is the sea. The sea. The sea. The sea. The sea. Singing the title of a TV show along to its theme tune. Brilliant fun. The Cater is there! Now, <laughs> oh, well, I just had a glass sunken bath put in at home. Hmm? Oh, yeah, rather a nice idea. A glass sunken bath. Uh, people downstairs aren't too happy about it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, you guys slay me. Goldilocks! 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 Oh, Mr. Cockroach, so many mouth parts your face. Uh, Nan's had a new hip put in. Uh, oh, yeah, she's had a new hip. Uh, yeah, if a group of us in the family, we remain loyal to the old hip. Yes. We, we formed a faction to try and have the old hip reinstated. It's not a big deal, but it has left her right leg ever so slightly longer than the left arm. Oh. Hmm? It's not a big problem, but she does tend to over-rev at the traffic lights. You know. <laughs> hey -oh, hey -oh. Keeps getting challenged to races around the M25. You know. Master mind, master. Master mind, master. <laughs> you hear about Maura Stewart? You hear about Maura Stewart? Yes, yeah, she got an auto-cue burn. You hear about this? She got too close to the auto cue. She got a burn on her forehead like that. <laughs> now, when she looks in the mirror, she reads that report from Nick Hyam. <laughs> you see, I like later with Jules Holland. I just wish it was on a bit earlier. You know, <laughs> maybe with a different front man. I don't know. You know, less musical items. See, the problem is, if we move the seat back, she wears out the clutch. You know. <laughs> Changing rooms, changing rooms, changing rooms. Fields, fields, fields give us grain to make our bread. Fields. Fields provide hay for our livestock. But fields can also be used for growing drugs in. <laughs> Dirty fields! If we move the seat forward, she can't reach the handbrake. <laughs> I wonder, if you keep a kitten in a drawer, does it stay a kitten because of the confined space, or do you just end up with a drawer-shaped cat? <laughs> My big brother, Alan. If it's too hard, I can't understand it. Here, Alan, fancy a game of Russian Routledge? Russian Routledge? Yes. I've got six barrels here, and you've got to guess which one Patricia Routledge dwells in. Uh, this one. OK. Patricia Routledge, are you in barrel number one? No, not that one. <laughs> Have another go. Uh, how about that one? Number four. Are you there, Pat? No, not barrel number four. You've got four left, Alan. Take your time. Do you want to phone a friend? What's a friend? <laughs> Um, all right, number five. Patricia Routledge, are you in barrel number five? Hello. 
The producers of this program appreciate that the lady appearing from the barrel is not in fact the well-known actress Patricia Routledge as advertised. The well-known actress Patricia Routledge was approached to feature in our Russian Routledge item but declined to take part. We hope this has not dinted your enjoyment of our Russian Routledge item and we apologise to any fans of Patricia Routledge who were hoping that she was indeed in one of the barrels. Well, if you're here, who's arranging all the woodland creatures into alphabetical order? Ah, well, we've been having some trouble with the Woodland ABC song. Trouble? Yeah, the bat's been getting ideas of his own. Just sort it! <laughs> who's the star guest? Barbara Dixon! Fantastic, that'll bring them back. I'll show that controller of Channel 4. <laughs> What's the problem, Gary? Problem? Problem! Your ratings have dropped so low, we've had to glue an extra bit of paper on the bottom of the graph. <laughs> Listen, Harry, why not hit your falling star to one in a cent? Celebrity co-host? Yes, someone who's got that little extra quality that you will never have. <laughs> That's right, Harry. I took the liberty of booking Schnorbitz. <laughs> So you see, Alan, Schnorbitz here has joined the team to help boost the ratings. Isn't that right, Schnorbitz? <laughs> you better get down that woodland. And Alan? Yes, Schnorbitz. <laughs> Garibaldi? Garibaldi? <laughs> Having thought about it, the producers feel that on balance we probably should either have increased the money and held out for the real Patricia Routledge <laughs> or dropped the item completely. <laughs> Sorry about it. Here's the church, here's the steeple, look inside. Yeah, not as popular as they used to be, are they? <laughs> Who got the ghost? I did, I did! It's Bridie McGinty! <laughs> Morning to you, Harry. Love the show. All right, Bridie. Bridie McGinty, daughter of Paddy, of course. I got the ghost. Yes. Eileen, isn't it? Hi, Eileen. That's right. But you've not been well, have you, Eileen? Oh, 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 oh she's on. Oh, on the back. Oh, on the back. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. You see, oh. Harry, I've had to take her to be sterilised. Oh, dear. But you know, I couldn't let her go through all that on her own. So, I disguised myself as a goat and had the operation with her. But you're all right now. Ah, fine. A little disappointed I can't have children of me own, but what? <laughs> Bridie McGinty, daughter of Paddy, tell me, what gets your goat? People who wear them slip-on shoes. What's wrong? Too lazy to tie the laces. <laughs> I'm Bridie McGinty and Irish girl of note I don't go into the bookcase, I always use a tote Me go picks the winner, but she's too young to vote So I put the money on for Bridie McGinty's goat <laughs> Cheerio Harry, come on Eileen <laughs> Bridie McGinty there You two be in makeup? No, we're not on till the second half. Oh, see you. Oh, hey, Stuff, uh, you sure? Yeah. Coming up? <laughs> do you want uh, to join a class for that? Don't bother. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, steady, big fella. Is there something the matter? Yeah, it's just I was the big star on this show. Then they get doing this Barney thing, the space station badger rubbish. And now Mr. Harry got Schnorbitz in. Yeah, well, what have you got against Schnorbitz? It's a cat thing. Uh, listen, Stu, the thing is, you've got to get on with dogs. I know it's hard, but you see, I mean, I'm talking to you, a, a cat, and, and I'm a bird. I used to hate dogs because I'm a bird. But when those dogs try it on, I think...
think of this wonderful dog they have been and sing them the hit the song. Like guide dogs. Yeah. Like Chef and Petra from Blue Peter. Exactly. <laughs> When I think of those special dogs there have been, my prejudice has all gone. <laughs> vans. Vans. Vans can be used to transport our things around, such as the delivery of an unwieldy item. But vans can also be used to transport evil drugs into our country. Dirty vans. That's all very well, but is it entertainment? <laughs> Alice, how's it going? Where's Barbara? She's in the cupboard. She's what? You! Have they gone? Have who gone? The rats. You see what I mean? What rats? Your flat is overrun by black and white rodents. You mean the badgers? Get them away! Come on out of there, you... Got a show to rehearse. They're not rodents anyway. They're a closer relation to the stoke. Ah! Put yourself together, woman. They won't do you any harm. Of course we won't. They talk. Well, of course they talk. Don't you watch the show? No, of course not. You and 55 million others. I've got to get back in the cupboard. I need the safety of the cupboard. Listen to me. Ah! Take a deep breath in and out. Come on in and out. There we are, you see. Look, this is, this is Tasman Archer, Badger. Hmm? She's all fluffy. That's right. That's Tasmin. Say hello, Tasmin. <laughs> hello. Hello, Tasmin. And that's Gareth Southgate, Badger. Hello. And that's David Beckham, Badger. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Happy now? Yes. Ready to rehearse? Yes. All right. I'll be outside if you need me. Oh, and Barbara? Yes, Harry. Sorry about the slap earlier. Oh, it's all right. I deserved it. <laughs> okay. Where do you want to go from? <laughs> Good evening, I'm Jon Snow. <laughs> and here is the news. No, it's no use, I can't read it. No, you'll have to bring it closer. I can't. <laughs> that report from Nick Hyde. The headlines. Scurf. Scurf. Scurf, scurf edged a lot of them. The main news, the sad story of the roadkill mermaids. <laughs> Local police have had to employ cross-channel swimmers to lie in the gutters. Their greasy secretions prevent the mermaids from climbing over them. <laughs> Tonight, Chi-Chi, the notoriously infertile panda, exposed. Why are you using contraception? Listen, I'm a career panda. I just don't feel ready to have a cub yet. <laughs> so I suppose what we should really do is build up the clutch, file a bit off the accelerator, but who's got the time, really? <laughs> That's all for me, Jon Snow. Good night. Coming up on Channel 4, Snorbids, <laughs> John D, Barbara Dixon, and Space Station Badger.